I'm going to uh, start by opening a file in Lightroom and taking it through the processing on the new MacBook Air uh, i7 computer and I just wanted to give people a sense for just how fast it is. Um, I don't know how the screen recording is going to impact all of my uh, performance here but we'll take a look. So here's a raw file and we're going to make some adjustments in Lightroom. Uh, start by doing some cropping here. And actually, let's go back and we'll use the original aspect ratio. And we'll position our bird about where we want it. I think that the exposure looks pretty good. Maybe we'll pump up the clarity and the saturation just a little bit. Like that. And uh, yeah, let's see. Blacks look good. We'll go ahead and export that into Photoshop now. And you see that Photoshop loads pretty quick. Um, let's see how fast the image loads. That looks not bad at all. So let's get rid of this message up here. We'll duplicate background layer. I'm just going to take it through my normal workflow. And we will select the bird and you can see that there's no real delays in in selections uh, using the quick select tool and it's going to do a little bit more a little smaller and I'm not going to go crazy with my selection here but we'll we'll get it relatively well selected and then uh, do our normal processing and see how long it takes so now what I'm going to do is we'll save our selection call it a bird duplicate that layer now I'm going to run neat image on the background and we'll see how fast it does that. And you can see that it ran that pretty quickly. Did a nice job of noise reducing our background. We'll do a quick uh, unsharp mask. Actually, you know what? Let's We'll just save this once. And this is a 40 megabyte document size right now. Let's take it down to web size. And I'm going to save it as a 1024 pixel wide image. And you can see everything happens very fast. Um, let's just close and I'm going to reopen the, the smaller one. Make it actual size. And then we will run a little unsharp mask on the bird. And we're going to go with maybe about a 0.5 radius. And maybe we'll take it up to about 70. get that taken care of and that looks pretty good let's just sharpen one more pass on a separate layer and we'll maybe take it about 35 or so we'll create an inverse mask here and we're just going to paint a little sharpening in the areas that we want
I'm going to drop our opacity down a little bit and sharpen here and here a little. Save. And then we'll save for web. And we've got our embedded color profile. We're going to optimize for BPN sizing. Save it. Voila.